Hello YouTube students, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at radian measure. In particular, I want to look at the problems where we convert from degrees to radians and radians to degrees. So we're going to convert 100 degrees to radians and we're going to convert 5 pi over 3 radians to degrees. So before we begin, let's look at what we're going to need to solve this problem. We need the fact that 180 degrees equals pi radians and we're going to use conversion analysis with this fact. Now conversion analysis, the way it works, if we have a 6 foot man and we want to convert 6 feet to inches. We would multiply by 12 inches divided by 1 foot. Keeping in mind that 12 inches equals 1 foot, so we're really just multiplying by 1, since in the numerator and denominator, the, in the numerator and denominator we have the same quantity. So now, the way that this is going to work, these units of measurement are going to cancel out. Feet is going to cancel out with feet, and we have 6 times 12 inches is 72 inches. So we're going to use this strategy for these types of problems here. So let's start with degrees to radians. We're looking at 100 degrees and we want to convert to radians. So notice how we have 100 degrees and we want to multiply by pi radians divided by 180 degrees. Now the reason we're doing this, we want the degrees to be in the numerator and denominator so they cancel out. Notice how this degree symbol here is going to cancel and we have. 100 pi divided by 180 times 1, we're just 180. And now what do we need to do? Notice how the degrees canceled out, so now we just need to simplify. The zeros are going to cancel. We have 10 pi over 18, and when we simplify this once further, we are going to divide the numerator and denominator by 2, and we have 5 pi over 9 radians. And this is how we would convert 100 degrees to radians. And now the next problem, we're going to look at converting from radians to degrees. Except now the conversion factor is going to flip. We're going to use 180 degrees over pi. So we're looking at 5 pi over 3 radians. So in some sense this radians is in the numerator. And we're multiplying by 180 degrees over pi radians. Where radians is in the denominator. So now the pi's are going to cancel. And we can also simplify, we have 180 degrees divided by 3, this will simplify to 60, and now we have 5 times 60 degrees is 300 degrees. Now the reason why I like to use conversion factors, some teachers will show to go from radians to degrees, you could just simply substitute pi equals 180 degrees, but the reason why I'm not a big fan of that method is because let's say they gave it to you without a pi term. If they gave you two radians and we wanted to convert this to degrees, well in this case we would be looking at a term without pi. So we would need to use this conversion factor to accommodate for the missing pi. It still works when we use this conversion factor. So we multiply by 180 degrees over, and remember this is pi radians. So in this sense the radians will cancel out and we'll be left with 360 degrees divided by Pi, which we could evaluate. We will need a calculator. We'll do 360 degrees divided by pi, and this will be roughly, if we round to the nearest degree, it would be roughly 115 degrees. In this particular instance where we do not have a pi term with our radian measure that we're converting, we would just go ahead and divide by pi, which is roughly 3.14 an infinite string of numbers and we would get 115 degrees. So this is going to conclude these three problems using conversion factors. Okay well this is going to be the end of this video. Thank you all for watching.